second intermission is brought to you by Tria Orthopedic Center, bringing innovation to patient care for extraordinary results. And welcome back. Our second intermission of a great hockey game, the Class A championship game. South St. Paul leading Breck by a score of one to nothing. Wow, what a game. Joining me now, speaking of Tria, as we heard a moment ago, someone who specializes in uh, problems with the knee, which is something that we see a lot with the young athletes, Dr. Lisa Arendt, of, uh, an orthopedic surgeon with the U of M Physicians and Tria Orthopedic. And Dr. Arendt, thank you for being here. Very often you see kids get an injury and they're tempted to come back too soon. That's a problem, isn't it? Yes, I believe that I'm not the only sports medicine physician that believes that we are placing too much emphasis on trying to get back faster. And some people feel that the better the athlete, the faster you should get back. In actuality, we should be paced in how we get back and make sure that it's safe to return, that the injury is healed and that your muscle strength and your agility and all those other factors that make you a good athlete are at par to go back into a game. Now, there are a number of different injuries you can have to the knee. The one we hear about very often, uh, an ACL or an MCL. We, we've heard all about Adrian Peterson with the Minnesota Vikings. And uh, again, th these are very damaging injuries and you'll want to take your time trying to come back from them because you don't want long-lasting damage. That's correct. You know, certainly speaking of uh, girls' injuries, the gir teenage girls are at the highest risk for ACL injuries. And the athlete may feel that they can go back. Certainly the external part of their knee may heal, but the graft itself takes a very long time to heal and then get back your agility, strength, balance, etc. It takes a while. Do we know why girls are, are more susceptible to this injury? Is there research going on about why that is? Well, this was first introduced into our consciousness in the late 80s, early 90s, and I must say that although we know a lot of information, we don't know it all. There's probably anatomic and neuromuscular reasons for it that we can't change, but we do know that part of it we can change, and there are neuromuscular programs such as Play It Strong at TRIA and other programs like that that can help to reduce that risk by coordinating your neuromuscular body. Now when you have young athletes, whether they're 15, 16, 17 years old, like even some of us adults, you're impatient, you want to get back out to whatever the field of play is that is your uh, sport of choice. How do you stress to them, look at, look at the long term, not just the short term. You want to keep doing this sport for as long as you can. You don't want to risk prolonging how long you're going to have to deal with this. How do, how do you get them to go along with that? Well, I mean, certainly if you look to the literature, you can see that there are risks long term. But honestly, I think the immediacy is better. And the way that I think we need to do this is to try to do more body movement patterns and test the kids in a physical therapy setting, showing the individual that they're not ready to go back by videotaping them or showing them body movement patterns that they aren't doing as well as they should. And that, I believe, is the core of trying to, to be safe to get back, doing functional tests in a physical therapy setting in order to prepare them and test them for the readiness to come back. And finally, are, are you seeing things at the high school level where uh, the equipment is getting better, maybe rules are changed to, to help protect players from these injuries? Are all of those things helpful to prevent these injuries in the first place? Oh, absolutely. I mean, this was really started by the NCAA Injury Surveillance Survey, where the primary reason they had that surveillance was to try to make rules and equipment to protect the athlete. And that college initiative has just penetrated down to the uh, High School Athletic Association and others like that. Absolutely. But Kids are faster, stronger, game, the level of the game is, is increasing. So I think those two things uh, may, we have not seen a, a significant decrease in certain injuries, despite all of this excellence that we have with rules changes and equipment. All right, well, Dr. Arndt, we appreciate your taking the time to give some great advice to kids who often don't want to take the advice because they want to get back on the rink or wherever they are. But thank you very much for all the great work you do at Tria Orthopedic. And we'll be back in just a moment.